Hello, Bitta. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another day of our CUET 100 question uh, test days. And today is day number 11. We are taking question number 11. This is a question from international economics, a very different theoretical question that I wanted to discuss with you. This question is on GATS and the different mod modes of GAT. So, um, you know, if, if you just know this a bit better, then when we talk about GATS, what is GATS? GATS is basically the general agreement on trade in services of the World Trade Organization. So I will just write this down. So, so GATS is general agreement on trade in services. Jitni bhi services provide ki jati hain. Whatever services are provided, un services se jo tradable services hoti hain, like BPO service, like for example, if I provide my services to US sitting in India, ye bhi ek service hai, which is tradable, huh? So whatever tradable services are there, jo bhi services trade ho sakti hain, Unke upar ek agreement. Kaun karwata hai agreement beta? World Trade Organization. WTO. This is basically called GATS. Huh. Uh, bohut recently we realized that that uh, pehle chota tha na beta we used to have GATT. GATT matlab ki general agreement on trade, on tariff and trade. Let's just write that down also. General agreement on tariff and trade. So what used to happen was that earlier we used to have general agreement on tariff and trade. But then we realized that services are, are becoming a very important part of the tradable sector. And since services were becoming so important part of the tradable sector, we wanted to ensure that we have everything related to services included here. Huh, beta? That is when we talked about GATS. Now, uh, now, ye jo ye hai, ye GAT, ye this happened in 1944. Huh? And it, it, its origin are from 1944 Britain Wood System, Britain Wood Conference. Huh? So, ye bahut, ye bahut se we wanted to talk about trade, but services is something that uh, is, is what we want to cover now. Just uh, me, we started talking about, um, about how services would be taken care in the trading sector. If there is a doctor in doctor in India, mein ke bahar ke patient ko deal kar raha hai, ya agar koi customer care center jo india mein hai wo bahar ko bahar ki kisi country ke phone ko kaise correct kar sakte hain wo bata raha hai ya yahan ka koi software engineer wahan ki hacking rok raha hai to usko hum kis mode mein lenge kis tarike se usko hum uh, uh, you know kaise hum usko handle karenge kya usse related cheez rahengi that is what gats is about right and this gats came into uh, force in 1990 so, this is a late force. Mein hai, beta. It came into force in 1995. Now, whatever members have to apply some fundamental, uh, you know, they have fundamental principles apply to them. They have to do this, 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 they have to do so there are four modes given here. Mode 1, Mode 2, Mode 3 and Mode 4. And you have to know what is mode in which coverage is that. What is covered under what mode. So beta, Mode 1, I will explain a little Mode 1 is called cross-border mode. In which we are giving our people services de rahe, like distance learning. My college is India mein established in India. And they are educating people outside the country. Ya consulting service, ya BPO service, that is called, that comes under mode 1. The second is mode 2. Mode 2 is related to consumption abroad. This is for example, I if I travel to Dubai and I consume in Dubai, so that is a part of their tourism. 
है ना वो उनकी एक सर्विस है उन्होंने टूरिज्म प्रोवाइड किया बट आई एम एक्चुअली कंज्यूमिंग ए ब्रॉड इन दैट केस या फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई गो फॉर सम मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट आउटसाइड इंडिया देन दैट इज ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ कंजम्पन ए ब्रॉड सो दैट इज मॉड टू The third mode is mode three, in which we have commercial presence. Just for example, I am setting up my hotel in Dubai. So let's say Taj. Taj is an Indian brand, suppose. Or Taj ne Taj Dubai ja ke khola. They have established something outside. Or let's say PNB. PNB ne apni ek branch se US me khuli. Then you are setting up your commercial presence in the other uh, places and providing your service there. So that is mode three. and at last you have mode 4 and in mode 4 you have movement of natural person just so for example ek ek engineer ya ek doctor agar india se bahar hi ja ke establish ho jaye so they are providing their services outside india na but they are indians so that comes under mode 4 where people themselves they travel there is a movement of the natural person so based on that now we can just say that mode 4 is um, movement of the natural person so four can be connected to so d can be connected to three so this is eliminated this is eliminated mode one is cross border trade so one is related to a to matlab ye dono hi theek ho sakte hain abhi ke liye and then we have mode two and in which in mode two what did i explain you the consumption part right mode two refers to the consumption abroad so mode 2 i will be linking to to d so which means b is linked to 4 so the correct option to this question then comes as this this is the correct answer to this question okay beta thank you